Good morning guys, I think it's uh, morning again uh, Today is a uh, little bit tiring to, to wake up that early but uh, I'm ready I'm ready to take on the day so now it's just taking some water in the face and then uh, train and then uh, meditate and then start, uh, start the day of work so see you later man Now I have to to eat something to to be able to to actually run day and night it's a very good energy drink it's not good for the health though but it tastes good some sandwich with fresh herbs is pretty good banana and a skier with some uh, muesli in it eat that shit and then just run for about 15 to 20 minutes and then come back and then just meditate and be ready to to attack the day you have to sell for a lot of money today <sighs> hello <sighs> now it's like 9 a.m. in the morning oh. Bergen Norway and I'm grinding for day two just been running for about two kilometers have a little break I'm a fat motherfucker so whew, I need a break but I'm ready to run with my new running shoes so yeah I'm going to run down this path right now it's beautiful here in Bilde Sutra in Norway it's awesome the reason why you have to meditate is you have to when we have all this uh, impressions and uh, problems and things that goes on in your daily life you have so much impressions on your head uh, from outside so you have to meditate to find your inner peace to actually try to to work from the inside and out this is at least what I have found as a common thing that all of the big big successful entrepreneurs and mentors I have do every day so Tony Robin Gary Vaynerchuk, Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, his many people, Pata Studal, all of these people is uh, meditating every day after the training, morning training, to evaluate and start the day in a good and controlled way. Because that's why you're meditating, it's to control your mind. So I feel amazing, I feel good, so. It's a good start, it's a good day, so let's go. Okay man, this is the first day of trying to, to actually accomplish uh, the revenue goal to uh, be able to buy the wagon and to, to start the first step in our journey to, to have a new restaurant. Uh, uh, so I'm thinking about uh, at least two ways, uh, three ways to, to, uh, to attract new customers or to, to to gain new customers for free without using money of course because we have no money in this project and uh, so I usually do I usually would use some money on uh, Facebook marketing Instagram marketing and uh, myself for the media company to extract leads and close the leads but right now we're going to use it uh, use the method that costs no money so anybody can do this technique and, and, and do it themselves so so today I'm going to first of all uh, of course it's cold calling you call cold customers that never heard of you before never talked to you before and just pitch your ID have a good pitch ready uh, and then just uh, try to to call as many people as possible to to get the, the target uh, leads you want the other way is to to make a video that's uh, personalized to the owner of the shop you're trying to to contact it's like uh, say if you contacting um, a car dealer and the car dealer's uh, owner's name is uh, is uh, Jans and uh, then i'm just going to put up a camera like this and then just say uh, hi Jans um, i was uh, just in and looking on your website and uh, you have a very good uh, website and uh, many cool cars. So we're just wondering how do you attract leads and, and, and people to, to look at your cars. And then I would just say something of uh, the techniques we are going to use like messenger bot and how to get customers on, uh, on uh, automation. So you don't have to do anything after the ads and, uh, and the funnels are, are set up. 
and then I'll just send videos like this to as many businesses as possible that personalized with the within the name of the owner and what I'm doing then is that I'm showing the, the owner that I'm not just sitting here and calling uh, as many people as I can I'm actually using some of my time to make a video for this guy and and send it to him uh, and uh, and uh, then he get a get, get an understanding that I'm genuine uh, interested in in, uh, in helping him so that's the, the that's the second way and and the and third way I was coming uh, thinking about is uh, just DMing people on Instagram and and Facebook DMing businesses uh, on Facebook and Instagram it's a very effective way to, to, to gain customers, but the more effective way to gain customers in DMing is of course in LinkedIn. And so that's also something I'm going to do. So I'm just going to, to give you guys some updates on uh, which method is working the best for me and uh, how I'm doing the methods. And, uh, and then I can uh, maybe write a blog post in, uh, in later, later on on my website, lotusmedia.no. But thank you much for listening right now. I'll tune in to you later when I'm when I starting to call calls, sending emails and DMing people. And uh, I can show you how, how I do it. The thing is, it's going to be very hard to, to actually gain this amount of money in this time of uh, this time period but i'm going to try my hardest that's the whole point i'm going to have a big big mission in front of me and if i can accomplish this it's going to be huge for me and in my future so so i'm going to try it either way i'm going to learn a lot i'm going to know a lot i'm going to gain a lot of experience but right now i'm going to look at the new course called the lost art of closing that you can find in mentorbox for some new knowledge and uh, motivation to actually close the sales. Talking about sales, both for con the consumer side, but also for uh, B2B, this is going to be applicable to everything. It is. It's going to be applicable for change just in general and helping people get better results. Okay, guys, this is the location I want to, to have the restaurant in, in uh, the mall. So now for the last 30 minutes, I've just been sitting here and just uh, counting the people it's walking by so i can get the statistic of how many people i'm i'm looking for so it's the middle of the week and it's the last hour of the mall's opening hours and the last 30 minutes it's been around uh, it's been 378 people walking past there uh, so that's a crazy good location in the mall so you can see around here It's a gallery right now, but they just put up some pictures of how, how they want to, to create the create them all in the in the future. But uh, they want to rent it out, so I hope to get this location in 120 days. So I'm wondering if I'm going to skip the wagon because it's going to cost like 150,000, or just jump straight to to the mall. The thing with the mall that you have to sign up for like three years, so it's a big commitment. But we are in this to commit, so. I think that's the best uh, way to go for the first time. Yeah. Okay. Just walking home from the from the mall. Uh, have a last meeting with them uh, in the morning at 9 a.m. So then I'm going to lay out my whole business plan. How 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 I think the, the sale is going to go. What we're going to sell. How much the cost is the products and yeah, and everything everything you have to have in a business plan but also I'm going to show them a statistics that I'm uh, that I have uh, collected because I'm sitting the last uh, three days now I spent at least 30 minutes outside or inside the restaurant of my competitions in Stroma observe and uh, and look at how they do things how uh, see the see see how they do the service how they uh, treat customers how good the food is how fast the food is uh, if it's a good customer service if they're smiling is it just women working there is it just men so i just been studying how the competition is doing it on this room and i built me a good picture on how to to do this as good as they are and uh, and even better i do believe that i have found some some good things that i'm going to apply in my business that's going to get me a way ahead of my competition is Ströma. Even uh, Domino's, Burger King and uh, I Sushi, Milano, Big Bite. We have uh, some huge uh, successful businesses here in Ströma compared to the location. So I'm going to crush them by studying how they are do it and do it even better 
by applying these simple rules I'm going to show you this 20 days and after the 120 days when I have the restaurant hopefully of course I'm not going to stop filming then I'm going to show you how to run a restaurant and how to make it booming and how to expand and make it a, make it a brand jump to the restaurant I think and uh, some of the restaurants and some of the competition I'm actually not that impressed of with the with customer service. Some of them don't even smile. They seem even even mad when you come to, to order something to, uh, from them. You're even scared to ask them for something more. Can I get some more salad on my sandwich? Can I get some more cheese on my pizza? It's almost that like like they're getting mad if you ask them. So so of course it's not going to be like that in Mr. Munch's. It's about the fun, the good munch, and uh, and the vibe in, in in the restaurant, in the joint. It's just that that I have to close like uh, maybe two hundred thousand kroners. So it's a hard job, man. It's a hard job. But as I mentioned earlier, this video I have tried uh, out all the three things that I said we can you can use to use as free free tools to gain customers as a consulting business or marketing business so i have tried this one i have sent out like 10 videos to 10 different uh, training studios and uh, tomorrow i'm going to contact all of the just cold call because i built a new pitch uh, based on the based on the courses i did today as you saw so i built a new pitch that i'm very confident in so i'm going to call all of the car dealers in all of uh, all of norway so that's uh, that's for today okay guys now I'm sitting here and uh, I don't know what it's called in English, but uh, I'm sitting here editing the today's video I'm going to put out. And I uh, just wanted to say that it's uh, two days in one video. So it's uh, maybe a little bit long video, but... Uh, and you can also see that uh, the plan is also changing a lot, but it's in the early stages. And uh, it's not strange that it's going to have some few changes to to hit the, the actual goal. Tomorrow, uh, it's a huge day, as I said earlier now, so I have to go to bed. But I have to train before the meeting, so the meeting is, as I said, 9, 9, 9 a.m., so I have to sleep now. But thank you. If you're still here, watching at the end, uh, thank you very much for, for watching. I really appreciate it, and uh, I hope to see you later, man. Bye.